Right. Today, I want to talk about the real news behind the petrol dollar uh, myth. Now, uh, this news is not something new. Uh, it has been, it's a week old. And the reason why I uh, did not write about it earlier on is uh, because there are some things that I need to look at, you know, the, some confirmation first. Even though I know this news is, uh, you know, the authenticity of this news, um, there is a hidden agenda behind, and I wanted to see whether this uh, agenda and uh, thing can really, really follow through or not, okay? Uh, it, does it have legs for the future? Not the, the immediate immediate future, but in the longer, longer term. I just want to see the, the reaction, hence the delay in uh, reporting this. Okay. So anyway, last week, social media buzz with reports claiming that Saudi Arabia has ended its long-standing 50-year petrol dollar agreement with the US. Uh, despite the sensational headlines, mainstream media largely ignored the story and there was no significant impact on the US dollars as well. The reason? It was a fake news. Okay. And uh, this is very, very important uh, in, you know, for everyone to take note. Now, um, you all know one thing over here is that whenever you get something news, so, uh, something important like this, this, this is an important news. Okay. From a fundamental viewpoint, uh, you need to look at the price. The price will tell you whether this thing is important, important, does this news uh, carry weight? Uh, is uh, this big boys affected by it? And what you also need to double check to ensure that it, you know, you don't get caught up in the fake news. Let's just, just give you an example. Now, this news is, is supposedly uh, meant to weaken the US dollars, right? The belief in the US dollars. So let's say this news is real, right? There's some 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 uh, logic towards it, and you see the dollar index coming down, right? Now this is the first initial move. What you really really need to look to and know that this thing is is it a trap, you know, or and, and stuff like that is to see whether there is a follow up movement to this, and I give you an example like this is the whole candle with the uh, this is the low this is the high okay and I, I just mark it here the low the high now if this news do carry weight towards it first you will see a big candle the second thing is that you will see prices breaking lows breaking lows the subsequent candles breaking low especially the second or the third candle if the second or the third, third candle still cannot make a lower low let's say in the next one hour, use one hour candles, you know that this news, uh, they don't have, it doesn't carry weight. So this is one of the ways that, you know, you all can look at and really understand, you know, when you can't confirm whether this news, the authenticity of this news, look at the price. Because the big boys, they will have the means to actually uh, know whether this news uh, is there potential for a bigger movement behind. Okay, so that's one very, very clear thing. Now, uh, to further explain the why I say this is fake is because to begin with, it's important to clarify that such an agreement never existed. While Saudi Arabia might be open to negotiating oil sales in other currencies, this has minimal impact on financial markets. Now, why do I say that? First thing first, the Saudi real remains packed to the US dollar and the Saudi financial assets are predominantly dollar based in the first place. So the dollar's reserve status, now this is the important one. The dollar reserve status hinges on how money is stored. Now the keyword here is stored, not on the currency in which transactions are denominated. Okay, because it's a reserve. Reserve is how you store where, uh, which, what kind of currency that you demand uh, for safe haven, for keeping, for business in the longer run. 
So this is something crucial that everyone should take note. Yeah. Now, the US dollar remains dominant and is expected to maintain its position for the foreseeable future. Global trade is heavily influenced by the US, China, and the European Union, with the US importing significantly more than its exports. Now, this trade imbalance is unlikely to shift unless countries like China start importing substantially more uh, from the US. Then it's a different case. Okay. Anyway, the US also boasts the deepest and most liquid financial market supported by the size and the strength of its economy. Open trade, capital flows, strong rule of law, property rights, and a history of enforcement. Currently, 60% of global foreign currency reserves are held in US dollars. Now, so if you examine why did this fake news pop up, okay, so examining the origins of these reports reveals a pattern of misinformation and confirmation bias, particularly within the cryptocurrency community, which often forecast the decline of the US dollars to promote alternatives like Bitcoin. We, and the timing cannot be any better be knowing you know it, it's like heating up right after the um the halving uh, uh you know it's been like what um uh, two months after the halving it's like heating up right now and if you were to refer to uh, this analyst known as raul paul right Ra raul paul has already mentioned you know bitcoin is moving into that banana zone banana zone here means it's going to start moving up crazy and you know it leaves everyone behind it's just going to move up move up move up and if you expect retracements uh to come to your level you you know chances are you might miss the trade kind of thing uh, these are the situations he defined as banana zone and he has already mentioned that we are very very near the banana zone already so he expects bitcoin to move up anytime uh, this it's echoed also in a few um famous cryptocurrency technical analysts. They are also talking about the same thing. So it's not surprising that you know the the crypto community is you, you see more, much of the sharing is by done by the cryptocurrency community. Uh, I would call this more like scare mongering kind of thing. So you also need to understand apart from this cryptocurrency community, you know that. Uh, financial agenda behind some fake news stories are strategically disseminated to influence public perception and policy as well by creating a narrative of dollars decline these stories aim to shift economic alliances and encourage adoption of alternative financial systems therefore thereby challenging the u.s financial dominance so the narrative of the petrol dollar's demise is also fueled by geopolitical tensions and some nations desire to reduce reliance on the US dollars. Uh, we have known so far and we have seen that sanctions imposed by the US on countries like Russia and China have intensified efforts to seek alternatives leading to such rumors as well. So these nations along with others in the BRICS Coalition increasingly use local currencies for trade to mitigate the impact of US dollar sanctions and financial controls. So while these stories may suggest oh, oh, a gradual weakening of the dollar influence, it's important to consider the broader context and the robust factors supporting the dollar's continued domination dominance for now so i have mentioned in the past already i've received emails even people that met with me and said that you know uh, dollar is going to go to zero every you know uh, uh believe me you know when uh, at the beginning or uh, even meet last year i received an email and people coming and said hey justin you know what uh, us dollars is going to go to zero and then better change into other currencies you know i think i've uh mentioned this couple of times dollar is not going to disappear just like that and i don't think uh, we are going to see uh happen uh in the near future as well unless something extraordinary happens for the time being there's just too much us dollar circulating around in the world for it just to disappear like that okay so the dominance is still there for now Anyway, in summary, the fake news about the end of petrodollars is driven by 
geopolitical strategies, we know that, economic incentives like the Bitcoin and stuff like that, and the ambitions of alternative financial systems as well. Okay, so this, uh, hopefully that you have a better understanding right now uh, with regards how to detect uh, fake news with the price and then also the uh, uh, the uh, immediate future of the US dollars. So with that, that's the report for today.